Hi, my name is Ruthwick, and today I will be demonstrating panels. As a user by the end, you will be able to create and use panels. A panel is a feature within Sharp Cloud that allows the user to display information about an item within the item. We use panels. We use the panels to display the information in a number of ways. To access the panel, simply click on an item and click on the expanding icon where it says open this item on the quick menu to then be able to see all the panels within an item. As you can see on the screen here, we have a multitude of types of panels. The first and foremost is the attributes panel where you can see different attributes laid out in, within the panel where you have a list attribute, a numeric attribute, and a date attribute all in one place to display information about the specific item. We also have a resources panel where you can embed resource links to resources as well as the resource itself. So for example, a Word document, an Excel workbook, a PDF, or a link to a specific uh, website that relates to this particular item. You can also embed a PowerPoint, PowerPoint slide where you have images, a YouTube video, as well as a Power BI connector that allows you to create and embed multiple websites or multiple sources of information. To edit the panels as a collaborator, you click on the Edit Pencil on the right-hand side to then expand the Edit Panel and click on Panels as a button. Here, once upon clicking Edit Panels, you are then greeted with a window that shows the panel name, whether or not you can hide the title for the panel, the order in which the panels appear when you when you open the item, the background color, the border color, and whether or not this is visible to us. There are mainly two types of panels within Sharp Cloud, a local panel and a global panel. A local panel essentially exists only within the item that the panel was created in, and a global panel can can be across the entire category or across multiple categories. To be able to create panels within Sharp Cloud, you need to have a create license. Within the create license, you would then have a number of new additional options to create panels, adjust the visibility options, as well as editing the panels themselves. To add a panel, you click on the add panel button and you choose the different the type of panel that you'd like to display within the item. So for example, if I click on text, edit this particular panel to be our notes panel and I say this is a note I click on save you will then see that this particular item exists sorry this particular panel exists within this item and if I move on to another one you will now notice that there are no notes on this particular item to create a panel that exists across a category or a global panel the first step to do is to head into the story setup into items and then into global panels here we clicking on the drop down on the right hand side you get to see the different types of panels that we have within sharp cloud as you saw in the previous screen but here what you can do is you can set this to be a notes panel i'm going to call it notes 2 and what i will do is i will set this for only the goals and the technologies once i click on ok and head into any of the goals, you will see that we now have a notes to panel, as well as if I head into another category that I did not specify, you will notice that we do not have a notes to panel here. And finally, another feature that I'd like to show you that's allowed only within the create license is to show whether or not these whether or not you can hide empty panels from non-creators, whether or not you can show panels for specific creators or not. Another little feature that we have within Sharp Cloud is to enable the ability to convert a local panel into a global one can be done by clicking on the three icons, and then you click on this particular option where it says set as global panel. By doing that, you get a pop-up that says set as global panel, and now if I go into another item, we can then see we can then see that the notes panel is now a global panel. 
So that's how you go about creating panels. Thank you so much for listening.